Okay, this is a quick video that I'm making because they have slightly changed the interface for Mendeley into Word. On the screen here, you can see the PDF view of the paper and on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the Word document that we're going to annotate with the right references. So I will start off by adding the references one to three, which you can see here on the Word document and over here in the PDF document. The normal place for reference lists in papers is down at the bottom. So I'll scroll down there and find references one to three in that list. So now I have to go online and using the information in the PDF reference list, find the electronic versions of those papers on the internet. And the way to do that is to copy the information in each line of the reference list and paste it into Google Scholar. It seems like the Google Scholar search application has improved and so now it finds the correct paper. So what I have to do is click on that link to open up the journal site for that paper. And I could laboriously and manually copy all the information into a new entry in my Mendeley library, but it's much faster to use the little widget that Mendeley have written to do this automatically. So you can add this into your browser and it will appear in your toolbar with a little icon like this. When you click the button, the widget searches the page that's open to find reference information about all the papers that it can, and then it presents them to you as a list. You just mark the checkboxes for the papers you're interested in, and then click the add button. So now we've added the first reference to our library, let's go and find the second reference. This second reference is by a friend of mine, John Amster, and we'll search for that in exactly the same way. By pasting the reference information into Google Scholar and then opening up the journal web page for it. And then as with the first reference, we'll use the Mendeley widget to scavenge the reference information from this page. So I'll click the add button to add it into my library. And now I can go and get the information I need for the third reference. So first I'll just go back in the browser until I get back to Google Scholar, and then I'll switch to the PDF and Word documents again. Then I'll copy the third reference information and paste it back into Google Scholar. Then you follow the same process of opening up the journal page and using the Mendeley widget to copy the information for that paper into your library. So by this point, you have added three separate references into your Mendeley library. So let's go and look and see what that looks like. And we access the library by clicking the Mendeley icon at the top of the widget box. You can see all the references you added recently to your library by clicking the recently added link. And so here they are. Now in this case, you can see there's several copies of the same paper because I went through the process a couple of times making this screen recording. But if we look at the first entry in the list, that's the paper by Marshall, Hendrickson and Jackson, you can see there's a couple of issues with it. Firstly, it's missing the year information. The title is all in caps, which it shouldn't be. 
and the source information, the journal, is also missing. So we need to go into this and edit it to make sure it's right. You will need to do this for all your references because if the information is wrong in your Mendeley library, it will also be wrong in the document and that will result in lost marks. So to edit a reference, you need to click on it in this list. And then in this pop-up window, you can go in and edit bits that need to be changed. But luckily there is an additional shortcut. Mendeley keeps a large library of all the information about specific papers, and you can try and search that library and update the information about your reference by using the document identifier number, or the DOI number. So to search that number in the Mendeley database, you need to find it in the tab like this, and then click the little magnifying glass to search. Now unfortunately in this case, when the widget copied this information from the website, it didn't copy the whole DOI number, and that's why we've come up with this error. This is a relatively rare issue these days, but it is something you will still come across, so it's important to know how to solve the problem. Luckily, this was the last reference we opened. So we can quickly jump back to that web page, find the DUI number, and work out how to correct it. So in this case, the problem was that the DOI number contains a lot of unusual characters, and that meant the widget didn't scavenge it correctly. But we can copy and paste it from this website into our Mendeley library, and see if that solves the problem. And indeed, yes it has, and now if we look through the reference information, we can see it's been corrected correctly. And it looks like there's no other issues with the information in the library, so now we can go to Word and add those references in. So to do that, let's delete the 1 to 3 that's already here, and then when we want to add references, they will be added where the cursor position is. Then to add the references, you go to the References menu in the toolbar, and it can sometimes take a little bit to open that menu. But once the menu is opened, then click the Mendeley Site icon. Once that opens, you can search for the papers that you want to add, and normally the easiest way to do that is by typing in one of the author's names. Then select the paper you want, and then you can go on and add the other papers that are to be added to, at the same point in the text. So that's all three references added, and you can see the odd looking tag that it's put in the document. So the next thing we need to do is add the reference list. Now that has added a reference list, but it's not in the RSC format that you'll need for handins at NTU. So we need to change the reference format by this process. And there you are, you have the first three references in and in the correct Royal Society of Chemistry format. But reading that reference list, I can see there's still one issue in that the journal title for the John Amster paper is in capitals, and it shouldn't be, so I'll need to go back into the Mendeley library online to correct that, and then I can update it in Word. It is very important to have good attention to detail like this, because it's a silly way to lose marks.
And now having found the right reference, I could go and use the DOI number, but in this case I'll demonstrate how to make the changes manually. Now you have to update the references. And alas, it's still not right because I mistyped something, so I'll need to go in and fix that. But now that looks like the first three references are complete, and then the rest of your task is to add all the other references into this introduction, and then show me before leaving the session.